Hello everyone, welcome to the Military Center channel. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA, announced on Tuesday its hypersonic air breathing weapon concept, HAWC. A missile program, conducted in partnership with the U.S. Air Force, completed another successful free flight in early July. However, the test photos as well as images of the missile itself were not published. According to a press release from DARPA, this is the second demonstration vehicle built by Raytheon Technologies in partnership with Northrop Grumman to meet testing objectives. Raytheon's first flight took place in September 2021. This was followed by success with a different configuration of contractor vehicles last spring. This second flight of Raytheon's HAWC design leverages data collected during the 2021 flight. Once released from the aircraft, the first stage propels the vehicle into the expected scramjet ignition envelope. From there, the Northrop Grumman missile scramjet engine ignited and propelled the cruiser to speeds in excess of Mach 5, five times the speed of sound, for more than 300 nautical miles and reached an altitude of over 60,000 feet. This latest test allows exploration of more of the operating envelope of flight engines and scramjets, said Andrew Tippy Nodler, HAWC program manager in DARPA's Office of Tactical Technology. <music> DARPA demonstrations are always about learning, whether it's for feasibility or practicality, and this time of course we get new information that will further improve performance. Scramjet engines use high vehicle speeds to forcibly compress intake air prior to combustion to allow continuous flight at hypersonic speeds, Mach 5 or greater. This system is designed to use widely available hydrocarbon fuels, and because it uses air for combustion, it does not have to carry the added burden of an onboard oxidizer. This key attribute enables a safe and efficient long-range hypersonic weapon. By traveling at this speed, hypersonic weapons such as the HAWC can reach their targets faster than traditional missiles, allowing them to evade defense systems. Air-breathing vehicles use air captured from the atmosphere to achieve continuous propulsion. The speed and maneuverability of such hypersonic cruise missiles allows for rapid evasion and defensive strikes. The Navy and Air Force will have access to the data we collect as they make development decisions for future high-speed weapons," Nodler said. HAWC flight test data will help validate system design and affordable manufacturing approaches that will deliver airborne hypersonic missiles to fighter aircraft in the near future.